Where is it, I wonder? Somewhere in this house. Because I remember I put it away carefully. <laughs> the devil are you laughing at? Nothing. Not you, Papa. Just life. It's so damn crazy. You look weak, lad. But I have a bracer. Pete's sake, if we're gonna play cards, let's play cards. Oh, she's still moving around up there. God knows when she'll go to bed. Christ's sake, Papa, just leave it alone. Before you told me some of the high spots in your memories. Do you want to hear mine? Hmm. They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I was on board the square head, the square rigger, bound for Buenos Aires. It's full moon in the trains, and the old hooker is driving 14 knots. I lay down on the bowsprit, facing a stern, and the water was foaming in spume under me. Masts, with every sail white in the moonlight, towering high above me, and I, I, be, I became drunk with the beauty and the singing rhythm of it. I dissolved into the sea, became white sails and flying spray, became beauty, became rhythm, became the ship and the moonlight and the high dim starred sky. I belonged without a past or future, within peace and unity and in a wild joy, within something that was greater than myself, greater than any man, within life itself, within God, if you want to put it that way. And there have been many other times in my life where I've had the same experience. I mean, lying on my back on a beach or swimming way far out, became the sun, became the hot sand, became the piece of green seaweed anchored to a rock swaying in the tide, like a saint's vision of beatitude. It's like the thin veil of things was suddenly lifted by an unseen hand. And seeing the secret, you are the secret. Suddenly, there is meaning. And then the hand lets the veil fall, and you are alone again wandering through the dark alone, through the fog, going nowhere for no good reason. It was a great mistake by being born a man. <laughs> I would have been much more successful as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I am a stranger. I will never feel at home. It doesn't really want and is not really wanted. Who will always be alone, and who will always be a little in love with death. Yes. There are the makings of a poet in you, all right. The makings of a poet. No, I'm more like the guy who's always panhandling for a smoke. He hasn't even got the makings, he's got only the habit. There's the absent brother. I bet he's got a peach of a bun on. That loafer. Caught the last car. Bad luck to it. Get him to bed. I'm going out on the porch. He has the tongue of an adder when he's drunk. What ho! What ho! Nick's on the loud noise. Oh, hello, kid. Oh. He's drunk as a fiddler's bitch. Oh, shit. Thanks for telling us your great secret. Yeah. Unnecessary piece of information number one, huh? <laughs> Oh, man, I had a terrible accident. Oh. Run 
this stuff to try to trample on me. Take advantage of the fall of the wave. You ought to be a lighthouse out there, you know? Start to get to. Where's the old spot? Not on the porch. Can't expect us to live in the black hole of Calcutta. I got the DTs. Oh, my God, it's real. What's the matter with the old man tonight? Must be ossified if he forgot this stuff. If he forgot who left this out. Oh. Grab opportunity by the forelock. Keep my success. <laughs> You're stinking now, that'll knock you stiff. Ah, can it with the wide stuff, kid. Still wet behind the ears. Mm. Fine, knock yourself out if you want to. Yeah, can't. I should travel. I don't know. Sink a ship, but can't sink. Well, here's hope. Shove over the bottle, I'll have one too. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Not on my watch. Remember doctor's orders. It may be nobody else cares if you die, but I do. And my brother. Oh, shut it, Jamie. Huh. You don't believe I care, huh? Just a bunch of drunken bull. Hmm. No, All don't... right. No, no, no. Kill yourself, kid. I know you care, Jamie, but... And I'm going to get off the wagon, but not tonight, okay? There's too many damn things have happened today. Here's how. I know, kid. It's been a lousy day for you, huh? I bet the old gasper hasn't tried keeping you off booze. He'll probably give you a case to take with you up to the state farm for pocket patients. The sooner you kick the bucket, the less expense. Christ, you could put him in a book and no one would believe it. Papa's all right. If you try to understand him and keep your sense of humor. Oh, he's been putting the only old saw back for you, huh? <sighs> Maybe he could get you with that, but not me. Not again. Mm-mm. Tell Gasper that I got it out of Doc Car at this sanatorium's a charity dump. Yes. I told him I wouldn't go there. It's all settled now. He said I could go anywhere I want. Within reason, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Anything within reason. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do uptown tonight? You go to Mammy Burns? Ah, uh, sure thing. Where else could I get suitable feminine companionship? And love. Oh. Don't forget about love. What's uh, a man without a good woman's mouth? A goddamn hollow shell. You're not. Hey. Guess which one of men Burns charmers I picked to give me uh, her woman's love. It'll hang you alive, kid. I picked that violet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Vi. Poor Vi. I bet you recited. Dowson and Swinburne and Kipling and gave her the old, I have been faithful to thee, Sayonara, in my fashion. She stood for a while, too. Then she got good and tired. Got in her head that I had taken upstairs for a joke. Gave me a grand ball and out. You know? Said she was better than a drunken bum who recited poetry. <coughs> and she began to cry. So I had to tell her I loved her because she was fat. <laughs> and she wanted to believe that. 
and uh, stayed with her to prove it. I cheered her up, and she kissed me when I left, and said she had fallen for me hard, and we both cried a little bit more in the hallway, and then, you know, everything was fine, except, you know, Mammy Perkins thought I had gone buckhouse. <laughs> Harlots and hunted have pleasures of their own to give. The vulgar herd will never understand. Exactly. Hell of a good time at that. You should have stuck around with me, kid. Had a good time, man. Mammy Burns inquired after you. Sorry to hear you were sick. She meant it, too. This night, has opened up my eyes to a great career in store for me, my boy. I shall give the art of acting back to the performing seals, and by applying my natural, God-given talents in their proper sphere, I shall achieve the pinnacle of success. I will be lover of the fat woman in the bottom of the Bailey circuit. <laughs> Imagine me stuck to a fat girl in the hick town hooker shop. Me, who've had some of the best lookers on Broadway sit up and beg. You'll be crying in a minute. should have stuck around with me, kid. Forget about your troubles for a while. What's the point of coming home to get the blues about something that can't be helped? It's all over. Finished now, no hope. If I were hanged on the highest hill, mother oh my, no. Mother of mine, I know whose love would follow me still. Shut up. Where is the hothead? I want to sleep. Thanks, kid. Hi, uh... I certainly had that coming. I know you'd never say that, Jamie. It doesn't... Because no matter how drunk you are, it's not, it's not an excuse. I am sorry that I hit you. Glad you did. Filthy tongue. I'd like to cut it out. I suppose it's because I just feel so damn sunk. I, I really thought Mama had it licked. I, I, I know she thinks I believe the worst, but this time I believe the best. I guess I can't forgive her yet. I had begun to hope that if she had beaten the game, I could too. I don't know how you feel. I've known Mama so much longer than you. I never forget the first time I got wise. Caught her in the act of a hypo. Christ. I never believed any women but whores took dope before that. And then this this stuff are you getting consumption? It's just got me lit. We've been more than brothers. You're the only real pal I've ever had. I love your guts, kid. I'd do anything for you. Didn't you think? I know that, Jimmy. Look, I, I gotta tell you something. Yeah? Something that I would have told you a long time ago. I'm gonna warn, warn you against me. Mom and Papa were right. I've been a rotten bad influence on you, and, and the worst part of it is I did it on purpose. Shut up. Nick's you. kid, you Shut listen, up. you listen. I did it on purpose to make a bum of you. 
At least a part of me did a big part. The part that's been dead inside for so long that hates life. Putting you wise to my mistakes so you learn the real world. <laughs> made my mistakes look good, made drinking, getting drunk romantic, made whores fascinating vampires instead of the poor disease slobs they really are. Made fun of work as a sucker's game. All to make a failure out of you. Didn't want you to succeed. Making me look worse by comparison. And it was mama's baby, papa's pet. And it was your being born that started Mama on dope. And I, I know you can't help it, but but all the same, God damn you, I, I can't help but hate your gut. This is Jamie, stop. And, but don't get it twisted. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I love you more than I hate you, kid. And this, uh, me telling you all this approves it. What I wanted to say is, um, I hope you become the biggest success in the world. But watch your back. Be on your guard. Because I'll do my damnedest to make sure you fail. I can't help it. I hate myself. i got to get my revenge on everybody else, especially you. Think about it. Think about it when you're away in the sanatorium. And you'll see I'm right. When you come back, keep a lookout for me, because I'll be there to greet you with my old pal stuff. Greater love hath no man than this, that he saveth his brother from himself. That's all. I uh, feel better. Going to confession. Uh, go get well. Don't die on me. God bless you, kid. That last drink. Whew. It's the OKL. Okay